Welcome to the third episode of the 2024 GCE Mathematics Paper 1. If you haven't watched the other episodes, I've just put the link in the comment section below. Alright, so today we are starting from question 13 and the question reads, given that y varies directly as x and inversely as the square of z and that x is equal to 8 when y is equal to 4 and z is equal to 2. Find the constant of variation k. Alright, so this question comes almost in all the exams, all the mathematics paper 1 exams. Okay, so at A, they want you to find the constant of variation. So for you to find the constant of variation, which is k, you need to come up with an equation. Alright, you can see that from what we've been given here, we don't have k. So we are going to form an equation based on the information that we've been given. So the information that we've been given says y varies directly as x. So they are saying y varies, we are going to use this symbol alpha, y varies directly as x, as x and inversely as the square of z. So whenever they say inversely, it means you need to divide this variable here by uh, the z, okay? Like this. So y varies directly as x and inversely as the square of z. Square of z, so it's z squared. Alright, so it is from this expression where we're going to form an equation so that we find k. So to form an equation, we're going to say y is equal to so immediately we introduce the equal sign we also introduce the constant of variation which is k then x over the square of z which is z squared like this now remember they want you to find what k is when x is equal to so when x is equal to uh, 8 when y is equal to 4 and when z is equal to 2 so for us to find k, we need to replace the values of x, y, and z. So y is 4, so we're going to replace a 4 here where there is y is equal to k is the one that we are looking for. Then x, x is 8, so we're going to put 8 in brackets like that. Then over z is 2, so it's 2 squared because z is squared. Okay, so we're going to have 4 is equal to uh, k times 8 is 8k over 2 squared is 4 right we can actually simplify the right hand side of this equation so we're going to have 4 is equal to uh, 8k divided by 4 is 2k okay so to get the value of k we are going to divide by 2 on both sides like this okay so the 2 is cancelling we're going to have uh, k is equal to 4 divided by 2 is 2 uh, which means that k is equal to 2 all right so which means that uh, this equation here where there is k we are going to replace a 2 so we are going to have y is equal to where there is k here we are going to replace a 2 okay so we have 2x over z squared. Alright, so this is the equation that is going to help us even solve the other problems on this math question. So B they are saying find the value of y when x is equal to 18 and when z is 3. So remember uh, we are going to use the equation y is equal to uh, 2x okay, over z squared this same equation that we we have formed here okay so they want us to find the value of y when x is 18 so meaning we are going to have y is equal to 2 times y is x we replace 18 so 18 over z z is 3 so we're going to say 3 
but because z is squared so we're going to say 3 squared like that okay so we're going to have y is equal to 2 times 18 is 36 over 3 squared is is 9 so y is equal to 36 divided by 9 is 4 okay so the answer is 4 let's look at c so c says find the values of z when x is equal to 25 and when y is equal to 2 so they want you to find the values of z not only the value but the values of z so we have the equation y is equal to 2x over z squared okay they are saying when x is 25 and when y is 2 so where there is y here we're going to replace a 2 is equal to uh, 2 then x x is 25 so we're going to replace a 25 there then over z squared so at this stage we are going to have 2 is equal to 2 times 25 is 50 over z squared so on the right we have a fraction even on the left it can be written as a fraction by saying over 1 then we are going to say 2 times z squared is 2z squared is equal to 1 times 50 is 50 okay so to get the value of z squared we are going to divide both sides by 2 okay so we're going to have z squared is equal to uh, 50 divided by 2 is 25 so now to get the value of z or to find the values of z we're going to introduce the square root on both sides so that we undo the power 2 so we're going to introduce